Can we control our organization SaaS spend? As more applications move to a subscription SaaS model, organizations are seeing significantly more SaaS applications introduced into the environment, coming with increased costs for applications like Microsoft 365, Salesforce, and ServiceNow. So who's receiving the most spend? From Flexera's 2021 State of Tech Spend Survey, we see that SaaS vendors like Microsoft, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Adobe, and Workday are receiving the most spend, with Microsoft being the largest vendor by spend and Salesforce being the fourth largest spend by vendor. But even traditional vendors like Oracle and SAP are moving more of their offerings to a SaaS model. So there has never been a better time to put a program in place to govern, control, and optimize spend as your spend continues to shift to the cloud. In this same report, the percentage of IT budget spent on SaaS subscriptions is 10%. 10% of the IT budget is spent on SaaS. Yet, in Flexera's 2021 State of ITAM report, respondents self-estimated that 23% of all SaaS spend is wasted. So that means that you're potentially wasting between 2 and 3% of your total IT budget on SaaS that is no longer being utilized or is oversubscribed or has inactive users or features. This is money that could be going to fund other digital transformation initiatives. The reality is that most organizations have a pretty good handle on what's in their on-premises environments, what's installed on laptops and servers with inventory tools. These applications are easy to find because they have a footprint. Traditional applications can be discovered, but sometimes hard to manage because of the complex use rights. SaaS, on the other hand, requires new capabilities because it is very easy to buy. Anyone in the organization can use a credit card to start using a SaaS app, but it's harder to find because there's not a footprint to discover. So you need to employ new methods to discover SaaS in use, manage the merry-go-round of SaaS renewals, and get visibility into all SaaS that's in your environment. Most importantly, since you work with vendors who offer a range of delivery models, you cannot look at SaaS in a vacuum. For example, if you're looking at your spend with Microsoft, you need to consider their on-premise apps like SQL Server, their hybrid SaaS apps like Microsoft 365, and Azure. So let's take a closer look at SaaS management. First, it's important to determine your goals for managing SaaS applications. Typically, organizations have three goals. The first is cost control by planning spend, rationalizing overlapping SaaS applications, and really governing what's happening. The second goal is visibility into all SaaS in use so that you can create a catalog of approved SaaS applications and start to reduce the sprawl. This is more of the operational element. And finally, the third goal is security. As employees leave the organization, you want to make sure that they no longer have access to valuable information such as your customer and prospect data in Salesforce or employee information in Workday. So what should the strategy be? By now, there's probably a lot of SaaS in your organization. So where do you start? You will most likely have the greatest amount of impact and see the biggest return on investment if you are very focused on following the money, which for most organizations is trying to right size contracts with Salesforce, ServiceNow, Microsoft, Workday, and Adobe. It is not enough to simply discover SaaS applications. Just like with enterprise software, these vendors have very complex monetization schemes. If we look at Salesforce as an example, they offer many products. Each product is priced differently or uses different metrics to determine pricing. So optimization is not as straightforward without deep knowledge about SaaS licensing. Focusing on your biggest vendors also gives you the most security coverage as your largest SaaS applications are exactly the ones that contain your most sensitive data. Then you get visibility into the long tail. Utilizing the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of your spend goes to the top 20% of SaaS applications. So you need visibility into the long tail to make decisions, but the focus should be on deep capabilities for license optimization. Flexera One SaaS management enables you to see your total spend, the amount of spend that did not go through IT, how many SaaS applications you have, 
the number of subscriptions that are underutilized, and how much of the spend is probably wasted because of underutilization. You can easily analyze where your spend is going by vendor and gain visibility into the usage of those SaaS applications by departments or business units. Now you can make decisions about optimization with visibility into all the SaaS in your environment. So how does it work? Flexera One SaaS management is a robust application built on open APIs and microservices. We find SaaS using direct integrations into large vendors like Microsoft and Salesforce, using single sign-on integration, and analysis of procurement or spend data. After we find SaaS in use, then we contextualize it by marrying up users to your organizational structure. Finally, we have policies to take automated action. More on that in a moment. For every SaaS application, you now gain visibility into inactive or never active users. This area is right to start saving costs by unsubscribing users who've never even used an application. You can also now see your actual cost per user or subscription and how that cost breaks down by department for chargeback or showback. You can also see the number of available licenses so you can plan for growth, M&A, or go the opposite direction and right-size your contract. What sets Flexera apart is our ability to go deep into license optimization. Flexera enables you to manage things like Microsoft 365, including moving users to the appropriate price level based upon their usage. And since Microsoft 365 has desktop versions available with certain plans, it's really not purely SaaS. Flexera enables you to manage the complexity of Microsoft's hybrid model and takes into the account the on-premises implications of the licensing model. We also go deep into applications like Salesforce, including the ability to measure permission and feature set license usage and support of app exchange applications. We go beyond just looking at Salesforce CRM. We also optimize for their resource based subscriptions, such as Salesforce Marketing Cloud. You can drill down into the application details to really analyze these complex licenses and see all of the applications that you've subscribed to, how many licenses are purchased, how many are allocated, active, available, and the license model. Flexera has rich license optimization algorithms to make sure that you're getting the most value for your investments and have the right portfolio mix from your vendor. An example of this is Salesforce subscription management. Flexera goes beyond just the, oh yes, we use Salesforce, and optimizes more of your spend, including Salesforce Marketing Cloud and App Exchange. These entitlements are complex because the pricing is based on resource usage, such as the number of contacts, not just the number of subscribed users. Now you can view all entitlements versus the contract so you can ensure controlled spend and reduce unplanned expenses. Now that you automatically know which licenses are not being used or where you've oversubscribed, you need to take action. So Flexera has a very powerful policy engine. We provide hundreds of out-of-the-box policies to enable you to drive continuous optimization and keep your SaaS data secure. An example would be to automatically unsubscribe inactive users from your SaaS applications. With policies, you can receive custom notifications and alerts, establish recommendations, automate any action with SaaS vendor integrated workflows based on APIs. So this enables you to automate many of the manual processes that you currently have with SaaS today. A very simple example of policies in action is unsubscribing a user from all of their SaaS applications when they leave the organization. Many SaaS applications are managed by business units who simply do not have the same rigorous employee offboarding processes. Now you can be confident that former employees or non-employees don't have access to sensitive data. Flexera's big differentiator in the SaaS management space is Flexera One, which enables you to maximize the business value of your technology investments across on-prem, SaaS, containers, and cloud. With Flexera One, I can get a holistic view into all of the technology spend. This is critically important because you are only going to negotiate one contract with vendors like Microsoft, IBM, and Oracle, whose product portfolio spans hybrid environments. 
If you're looking at cloud software and SaaS spend and silos, then you're at a disadvantage when it comes to right-sizing your contract with Microsoft, as an example. With Microsoft, you need to know all the software, whether it's on-premises or in the cloud. Microsoft 365 and SaaS and Azure spend to get this right. This is the power of Flexera One. We don't look at just SaaS because that would only provide you with a piece of the puzzle that you need. You can now have a comprehensive picture of your total spend with vendors across your hybrid IT environment. You'll be able to recognize trends as investments move from on-premise to cloud. You can recognize rationalization opportunities and really see your digital transformation results. But it's not just a vendor view that's important. You also need to understand how all of this technology is being consumed in your environment to truly maximize the value of it. Flexera One uniquely provides a business services view of your technology so you can see all of the resources that comprise a business service. So for example, for a banking organization, they would want to be aware of the spend or all of the resources in their mobile banking business service to truly understand the ROI of all of the SaaS software and cloud spend that goes into providing that service. Now you will have a new perspective on your SaaS applications. How are they being used? Are they for critical business services or has this been something that is non-revenue generating or not customer facing? With Flexera One, you can be in control of your SaaS spend and look strategically at all of your providers. To learn more, visit flexera.com.